Hey, 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 what's up everyone? My name is Burak and I'm traveling the world and today I'm in Shkodër, Albania. And in this video we'll be exploring the city, we'll be visiting the Rozafa castle and we'll be going to Venice Art Mask Factory. It's gonna be interesting and many, many things more. Keep watching. So I wanna talk about the Shkodër. There is many, many interesting facts about the Shkodër and one of the most interesting one is that they don't have traffic lights here yeah it sounds crazy but they don't have now i'm gonna show you it's the first time in my life so here i am on the crosswalk but there is no traffic lights <laughs> <laughs> the door is open no any lights there is another crosswalk no lights so it's just like basically who goes first goes first <laughs> you know so you have to be very careful if you're coming out of Albania and if you rent a car here you have to be careful on the crosswalk there are stops directly you don't have to even wait now I'm on the way to Venice Art Mask Factory It's about 2 km away from the center When you come to Škoder You feel here the life is slower Not fast like in Tirana and capital People ride the bikes more often I mean it's very usual to see many people on the road Cycling for example And I guess Shkodr is the cheapest area in Albania. You can basically walk everywhere. If you want to, if you want to go around all the places in one day, then okay, you need the car. You can do a little walk to anywhere you want to go. So here I am on Venice Art Mask Factory. Let's see if we can visit here. So I heard there is a festival going on. Is it in winter? Yeah, in March. In March. In March, February. Venice Art Mask Factory. All looks very fancy. So the price goes from 25 to 1,300 euro. So far, my favorite. <laughs> the nightmare of all of us. Wow. And here is the, the most expensive one. It goes like every year, February or March. They are having the mask festival here in Chicago. if you're interested you can come so let's keep talking about what you can do in Chicago. Uh, i think one of the most common thing that you can go to the lake uh, if you would like to swim it's there is a town called shiroka it's about uh, seven kilometers away approximately from Chicago. Uh, so how you can go there unfortunately there is no bus so you can go there with renting a bicycle or you can hike there as well it's not so far it takes like one hour maybe 15 minutes approximately i'm not sure because i haven't gone there by walking i was few kilometer walking and then i hitchhike so it's also very common in albania you can hitchhike very easily uh, yeah there is some guys doing uh, street music It's very strange because right here there is a mosque and behind me there there is a church they are like so close to each other because in Albania 60% is the Muslim and the others are Christian oh yeah from here you can see there is the church 
so what I was saying you can go by hitchhiking also to the Shikora Sh Shiroka Shiroka yeah I hate it uh, they can come just behind me so it's very easy to hitchhike in Albania I can say like maximum 10 minutes I usually take on the second and third car they just stop and take me they say that you can swim in the lake but when we go there uh, you know it wasn't so clear but there was some people were swimming uh, but we decided to not swim it was not so clean so if you want you can swim there's no problem but I didn't so you can also rent some kayak or do some water sports up to you but the Shiroka it's a nice little town you can walk around the lake or you can visit any restaurant you can eat something there there's also a nice restaurant uh, I forgot the name I, I'll write it down here you can go there my hostel owner he advised me to go there but instead of going to the lake for swimming actually you can go to the Velipoya which is like uh, 30 minutes by bus and cost like 200 lakh but I have to say that the beach and the sea is the, not the best one but better than lake I guess so what else you can do in Shkoder you can visit the Rozafa castle there's a legend about Rozafa castle I'll try to do it as short as I can so story goes generation to generation it's of course mystery Albania is full of the mystery and the magic stories the story about the Rozafa castle there once upon a time there was uh, three brothers were living here in Chikoder they wanted to build a castle to protect their town every time they build the wall into the castle whenever they finish the walls was falling down they build again and the wall falls down again so they met an old man and this old man said that the only way to build the castle uh, sacrifice and he said like you have to sacrifice one of your wife from your wife whoever comes first tomorrow afternoon to bring you a lunch you have to sacrifice her and the brothers they promise for the good of the town and the castle that they will not say anything to the wives but it didn't happen like this two older brother they explain what happened today and the youngest one he didn't say anything and the next day Rosafa came tomorrow in the afternoon with a one box of the lunch for her husband the husband explained the situation that they say that they have to sacrifice her and bury her on the wall the walls will not gonna fall down again she she didn't protest it she accept her fate in only one condition that they have to leave a hole for her right breast to feed her newborn son they sacrifice her and bury her in the wall the wall didn't fall again and and last but not least the best I guess the best that's why I keep it in the last the pets if you're here in Chikoda, you have to go to Tet National Park. This is an incredible valley between the mountains. You are like into the movie of Avatar. It is amaze you like crazy. I don't know. I, I don't have the words to explain you. That place is amazing. You have to go there. It just costs like 10 euro and they are taking you from your hostel to the test they bring you to the hostel where you want to go you just show them your booking then they will pick you up till there so to come back as well 10 euro the accommodations are there approximately 25 euro include breakfast and the dinner so it's it's normal for the test what you can do there you can go visit the blue eye there is two blue eye in Albania one of them in the south between Saranda and Jirokasa if you haven't seen my video I'll put the card right here you can watch it but this is better than in the south and you can see an amazing waterfall also if you like hiking you can also go to mountain Valbona uh, it's up to you you have many things to do in Tet so you have to go there it's amazing 
So guys, if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe. This is all from today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on next video.